Guys, it's Saturday, and you know what that means. It's time. It's not Saturday. Yeah, I think he wants me to post this on Saturday. Maybe he's just referencing Saturday morning summons in general. I don't know. It's not Saturday. We're doing summons for Quadic L. Let's get it started. We also have some... Uh, we already took a look not that long ago at... Uh, yeah, let's get... Uh, oh, wait. Are we on the... Get lightning right away. Are we on the... Uh, are we on the button or not on the button? Whichever way it is, I think we should keep it because we're already getting a start out with a bang. Uh, this is my third year. Do I'm getting a lot of lightning. Hold on. This is the secret. Whatever we did. Saying it's Saturday but not actually being Saturday will warp the space. Okay, what? <laughs> what is this? Warps the fabric of space time. I think we've traveled through a wormhole, guys. All right. Okay. That was a, a lot of lightning for... Yeah, four lightnings out of ten. That's not the rates. Oh, we didn't even <laughs> check to see if the thing is clicked. I don't know if it's clicked. Third year doing Saturday morning summons around this time of year. I don't have as many summons as usual because I spent a lot uh, of the year not playing, but I figured I should do it anyway. Yes. Why not? Units are hoping to get... Uh, he has two different things that have different units. Hold on. Hey, Lucian. Yeah. Units are opening yet. Yeah, Nana, Carnal, Hathor, Ganymede, Savannah. Trying to figure out TOA Hell so any monsters that can help me there. Use better judgment, rather you choose as if it was your own account based on the units I already have. Okay, I'll I'll I can do that. As if it's your own account. Feeds everything! I'm like, I'll quit this game. Haha. <laughs> Ganny Hathor though! Wait, he did say that he. He didn't play much of the year. Maybe he doesn't realize Gandhi Hathor is not a, really a thing anymore. There's just better for thing for for what Gandhi Hathor does. There's just better units now. So it's all about that Shung Pung life. Uh, let's see. He's got a second wish list, but it, with different units. <laughs> he said, "Not is this? This is the same person, right?" This is this is the same person. He has two. Wait, wait. Oh no no no! It's different wishes because it's an old hero. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, blah 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 blah. This is how I read you guys' emails. Blah blah blah. blah. All right. That was the correct wish list. It's not my imagination. It's probably my imagination as well. Let's take a look at some games coming out. Oh, God. <sighs> Get ready. We have some games. They're mostly indie games. We're not really going to take a take too much of a look at them. Well, this... I'm, <laughs> okay. I'll just not say anything. I'll just not say anything. We'll look. Grabby Tunes, first game. Com compete with your friends and smack them over the head in this physics-based galactic party game for up to four players. Could be fun. Like a Twitch stream game for streamers. Grab it tunes. Let's see it. Look at that. They're grabbing and smacking. Yeah, don't you love playing games where you grab and smack it? Please don't don't, don't say anything because I know what you're going to say. You're going to say terrible things. Terrible, terrible things. It looks like a... It <laughs> looks like an Adventure Time game from like 10 years ago. Like a super budget Adventure Time game. I don't know if that's a compliment or an insult or whatever, but Grabitunes might be already out by the time you're watching this. Who knows? Speaking of who knows, there's a game called Who Knocks. Uh, who Knocks is a first person psychological horror game that will make your nightmares come true. You've just moved into a new home. Uh, welcome the presence. Welcome the presences that will knock at your door, solve puzzles, explore the environment, and fight your nightmares. see something scary in the mirror. Hold on, guys. Yeah, just letting you know, because I don't mention... The oh, look at that guy. He's on the way. Oh, there's a lot of scary monsters. All scary monsters. Oh, it's gross. Yeah. Uh, so I was supposed to give you guys the warning and then start start looking at these things. Some of these games are gross. Most of you watch it... Well, most... A certain amount... An amount that I have no idea what the percentage is of uh, <laughs> watching as a podcast or, or, or actually watching watching. 
but uh, yeah, we, we did have the thing. We did have the thing clicked. But yeah, I'm supposed to let you guys know that the games that we look at sometimes in here have some scary stuff. I should have mentioned that beforehand. I think that last image was particularly less about monsters and more about just like possibly, uh, I don't know, disturbing. There should be more warning. Like, why? Hold on. What? Why is there not warnings on the Steam page? Should, I mean, there there should be warnings. There are warnings on some Steam pages. Why are they like? Why? Why does it apply to uh, indie games? I guess people don't flag them sometimes. They should flag some more of these. Like, some of these games have disturbing stuff in them. So, yeah. The Art of War, public beta. Let's take a look, okay. Art of War card game. Lead one of four factions of your choice and defeat all your opponents in fierce card battles with real players from around the world. Destroy your enemies, reinforce the power of your empire, and comprehend the Art of War. Have you guys ever read the Art of War, like the actual book? <laughs> I, thought, I thought it was, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I feel like I've mentioned it before in a, in a video at some point, but actually a book about war like <laughs> people uh, will read it because it's like oh it's like one of the go-to business books that a lot of people will recommend for you know for business reasons they're like oh we'll teach you how to business and and how to compete <laughs> it's like no it's actually about war it's that's not even that's not even like sugarcoating it. it's like it's a, it's about how to out like flank your enemies and stuff it's like okay yeah was not expecting quite that right just just by how people how people will recommend it for like you know good books for reading for entrepreneurs it's like the art of war <laughs> okay i mean maybe if you're an entrepreneur in like a you know a company making missiles <laughs> could be good uh anyway Ooh, congratulations on fusion food, because that's what I would use that for. Fusing monsters, fusing sculpture things, art of war, here we go. Sapphire, Diana Dalmat, Mannequin. Wait, is this, why does this seem like the art of like a, adult war? <laughs> Hold on. All right. I guess it's not. It's actually about medieval warfare. Okay. It's not it's not really the same as the uh, the book art of war though, cuz that's not about medieval warfare. Well, not not in the same whatever. It's about what ancient Chinese warfare. I'll give you guys the 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 synops. The synops? Not the syn. Ah. <sighs> Summary is the word I was probably looking for. Synopsis is probably the word I was looking for. Oh, it's so long. That's not what she said. All right, we're not gonna we're not gonna read that. Let's go to the next game. We we, we care about games, not books from old uh, Chinese military leaders. Seventh Star. What is this? What is this logo? This logo is like a... I, I, I don't know. I feel like this logo is from like a pop punk band from like 1995 that only had PowerPoint and some clip art <laughs> to actually make a, make a logo. That's what it feels. You know what? The game kind of looks like the same thing. The War of the Wolves rages on and only the seventh star can bring it to an end single player RPG. Let's take a look at this amazing single player RPG. Yeah. Oh, this kind of looks not bad over here. This is this has gotta be like an RPG maker game or something. Right? It's gotta be. <laughs> you see the logo? You see, I was right, exactly what I was talking about. Exactly what I was talking about. What else do we have? To the top. It's her wish that you climb to the top. It's mine to make you angry doing it. Who is she? And maybe if she wants to climb to the top, maybe she should climb to the top herself. 
the, I, I, this is like the most budget platformer of all time. Hold on, let's see it. Hey, we got a Sonic. This is like pit, Pitfall graphics were actually better than this. This is this is like a demotion. It's like a step down. Ah, <sighs> these games, man. These games. Okay, what's the next one? Target. Oh God. Let, please let this be not complete garbage. Target is an action-packed... We'll see about that. Oh, the lens flares! Hold on. There's an action-packed multiplayer shooter based on children's toy tanks. Upgrade your tank to strategize your odds in the game and conquer the playing field. Let's see. Target the game. Oh, my goodness. People need to make actual games. <laughs> I don't... Like, what? That's... <sighs> This is the, the, the aforementioned lens, lens flare. Frequent updates. It's not out yet. How do you know if it's being updated frequently? How could you even advertise that? It's The game is not out. You can't possibly know that it's going to actually get updated. Well, I guess people can claim all kinds of nonsense now. Nowadays. They're like, yeah, I'll just, I'll just uh, claim that we're going to do this. And then who knows if we actually do it or not. They did say Danny Hatha, right? Uh, Oliver Mo No, this is a different form. Uh -huh. Yeah, this is the one. Yeah, Nana, Carnal, Hathor, Danny, Savannah. We should make an actual wish list that are... That is good. That includes monsters that they should... Oh, this one doesn't look that bad. Nocta. It's a knock the bad. <laughs> it actually is a, for for the fact that we're looking at like budget games today. Sorry, I, I shouldn't have mentioned I shouldn't have said it that we're looking at budget games. This one does not look bad. This one this one does not look budget. This one looks like it's actually a game. So Yeah, let's uh let's take a look at that in just a second. What are we supposed to be doing? Oh, we're we're supposed to be looking at uh, things that that they don't have to see what they should want. Let's figure it out. We'll figure it out together. Even though I'm not listening to anything that you say because it's a video. So, I did this in the past and I can't actually hear you. That's going to disappoint people. He doesn't have a... De he doesn't have a fire death knight? What are you saying? Wasn't that a Hall of Heroes too? There's a Hall of Heroes. <laughs> He's been playing for years. This game is crazy, man. Absolutely crazy. He's been playing for years, doesn't have a Fire Death Knight. What else is he missing? Like from He doesn't have a Logan. He doesn't have a Wind Sniper. What the fuck? Okay, so not this one. This one would be super, super good for him. Triton, Leo, Shinje, Ethna, wow. Odin, Savannah, Oliver, Dominic, yeah. What did he say? No, he didn't say. He said Savannah. Uh, Oliver, uh, Oliver and Dominic also. Those would be super good to get. What else is he missing? No, Anavo. No, Bulwark is a really solid one to get for turn two players. For slow people. Um, did I say Bulwark? I meant. I. Oh my goodness. <sighs> That's the one I meant. That's the one I said. More. Also, Shizuka. Nana. He has Nana on the thing. My brain is just going little by little, guys. Oh, we're supposed to look at LDs also. Perna. Rakan. <sighs> Chiwu. Masha. He doesn't have a Masha. Doesn't have a Masha. Masha's not on the wishlist. Carlos. Another one. Let's take a look at LDs just in case he's missing any super important LDs. He's missing some LD3s, not that they're super important. Um, this is nice to have. Dark Mystic Witch definitely should be on the to, to, the to-do list. Not the to-do list, the hopefully we summon list. All right, so this one, like I said, is, how am I forgetting names of monsters, seriously? I just started playing this game a week ago. I'm trying to cram so much into my head. In my head! In my head! My brain! I don't know what you guys thinking? 
Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to learn so much that I'm, my my brain is mush. It's already been mush, so it's just extra mush. It's it's super mushy. Anyway, game called Nocta coming out. Possibly already out by the time you see this. Doesn't look that bad. Doesn't actually. Let's uh, let's start another temple. Cause you know we're not gonna get anything. Doesn't look bad, right? Looks like someone actually cared about making something that people might be interested in. Ingenuity Interactive. Have they made anything before? No. Okay. This one is Barista Simulator. Didn't we see a Barista Simulator game already? Barista Simulator lets you experience making a wide variety of coffees just like ex espresso, latte, cappuccino, or even your special mix of coffees. Just work at Starbucks! You don't need a game for the- Oh my god. <sighs> While managing your coffee shop, you play as a barista and make the coffees your customers want. It's just work at Starbucks! Just work at Starbucks! You don't need to buy a game. Work at Starbucks! Work at Starbucks! Oh. It'd be funny if, like, there's Starbucks managers out there that, like, get job resumes and they're like, I played Barista Simulator for 200 hours. Like, what? I mean, hire them, but why? <laughs> like, <laughs> why would you do that? Would you, if you, if you were a Starbucks hiring manager, you guys I'm talking to, you guys, and you saw that on someone's job application, what would your, first off, what would your response be? Second off, would you hire them because they're obviously devoted to the craft of making coffees that their customers want? Uh, or would you not hire them because they're crazy people? Sometimes it's good to hire crazy people. Sometimes the job requires that you're crazy. Sometimes it's very beneficial. Oh, you have a virtual marker too. I don't... I, I don't... I don't know. I don't know. So you can draw in the cups in VR. Wait, is this a VR game? Early access. Barbecue simulator? Oh my god. What? Uh, why do we need barbecue simulator? Just, just make barbecue! It's fine. We're fine. We're all... We're all fine. Nothing wrong. Nothing is nothing is wrong with anybody. Okay, let's take a look at Barista Simulator. Recipes for coffee. Oh jeez. <sighs> well, that's that's the game. What is this stuff on the hold on? What is the stuff on the ground? It looks like there's trash on the ground. There's a stool. There's things you have to clean. People's garbage. There's a fan because apparently there's no air conditioning. It's like the worst coffee shop ever. <laughs> there's the worst coffee shop, but there's a line out the door. There's nothing in the case. There's literally piles of trash on the floor. There's a call. Is there a coffee machine on the floor? Also, wait, I don't understand this. You need to see. Hey, that's actually new on their account. Okay. Let's take a- hold on, lightning, lightning, let's see. Okay, we get a twin. Uh, look at the things in the building. So, there's like a heat lamp on the left-hand side, and then there's a fan. What? Those two cancel each other out. So just, just, just unplug them both and put them in the back room, and then you're the same and just- I don't know, guys, I don't, I don't know. Who am I even explaining this to? You guys like, we don't, we didn't, we didn't make the game. We didn't make the game, buddy. You don't have to yell at us. That's true. I still will, but I don't have to. Look, the people are even, like, unhappy. Hold on. There's a line at the door, but the people are, like, just not. Maybe she's unhappy because the line is at the door. What? We don't even, we, we don't need to keep uh, looking at this. Okay, next one. Stoney's Adventure. Is this about a pothead? Let's find out. After these messages from our, that uh, there's no messages. Watch, there's like an ad, like a mid-roll ad at the same part. Now for these messages, bye. And then they're like, blah, 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 blah. I don't know what they would be advertising. 
It's YouTube. Uh, it's it's Google Ads and YouTube, so who knows what it's probably an ad for a terrible mobile game. Probably. <laughs> and then the, the actual video is just looking at terrible PC games. So, uh, hold on. 2D puzzle action platformer set in a fully explorable world and beyond. Why is it Stoney's adventure then? Who's... The sinister evil do is emerge from the unknown to create a sinister new world with nobody left to defeat him. It's on you and any other misguided souls you stumble upon to put an end to his dastardly plot. Jump fly race through several lands from the sunny oasis of the diamond desert to gloomy swamps of the mystic stormlands to save the world from the most dangerous weapon ever constructed. What is the most dangerous weapon? I thought this was going to be about, like, I don't know, narcotics. All right, let's see. Stoney's Adventure. Right? With a name like that. <laughs> kind of looks like me. It looks like he has a beanie and it's like half over his eyes. So. Yup. That's me. Is he a robot? What's going on there? What's next? Oh god, what is this? Escape Dream. Help the character trapped in a dream to escape and go to work next day. For, okay, so first off, not even not even correct. Uh, oh jeez. I I we need we need they need to stop letting all these games on Steam. Steam is just like yeah, whatever you want to put on here, just whatever, whatever, just load it up. Can people buy it? <laughs> we'll put it on Steam. <sighs> Wonderful. Yep. I, I don't know what this is, but apparently if you can escape this dream, uh, you can go to work the next day. Which in in all logic would, would... Oh, hold on. What brand new? I feel like, th I feel like if I ask them, they're just going to ask me what, what we should pick. So based on RTA replay data, I mean, not that they said specifically that they're uh, trying to do a whole bunch of RTA, but both of these are new units. More people are using the Water Art Master than are using the uh, Fire Battle Angel. So that's why we picked that one over the other one. Because personally, I don't know what I would pick. I feel about the same for both of them. Or maybe I don't feel the same for both of them. He's kind of a difficult unit to... Like, if you can use him effectively, then it, it, it just takes... I don't know how to phrase this. I've said it before, though. But it takes talent to use Hey Gang correctly. Because there's some units, like Douglas, like, you don't have to really do too much of anything. Douglas is either going to work or he's not going to work. <laughs> Molly's going to work or she's not going to work. Regardless of anything that the player actually does with it. Maybe that's why so many people want Douglas and Molly. I guess they're like, I don't need to, I don't need to think when I use this. But hey, gang is something you need to actually, like the the more talented players will do better, like significantly better with him. Like the players that uh, that are better at drafting, the players that are better at the, yeah. So where were we in terms of looking at the? But I mean that that one's just basically play style. Like, do you do you want to play a Hey Gang playstyle versus a Fire Battle Angel similar to similar to Kali? But a lot of people would prefer Kali, even though she was buffed. Though I don't think we tr uh, tried her out after the buff, but yeah, that's just why I went to the RTA data to see what people were using more versus my own opinion. So this is the Dream Girl game. <laughs> the dream girl game. The whatever, the girl in the bunny costume, uh in the dream. Yeah. Alright, let's take a look at the escape dream. Why would you want to escape a dream and go to work? Anyway, uh next one, Holy Paladin Cynthia. A classic RPG about one girl's journey to save the world and become a true holy paladin. I'm gonna show you guys the image, and there's something you guys are gonna gravitate towards one thing. We all know what it is. Wait a second, now? 
<laughs> the second thing I gravitate towards, there's pee in the toilet. There's a little notification that lets you know that there's pee in the toilet. Either that or it's like, I, 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 I butterscotch? I don't know. So, two things that your eyes will gravitate towards. The second one is, is the pee. All right, let's see what else is going on with this. Oh, okay. This is, this is definitely for a specific audience. <laughs> I wish that they worked on the rest of the game as much as they worked on the... <clears throat> uh, yeah. I think that's just like an RPG Maker game, though. Not, uh, not an actually developed game. I'm pretty sure it's like an RPG Maker thing. Does it even say? Contains suggestive themes, brief descriptions of threats and harassment, mild violence, crude humor, and crass language. Yeah, I'm not surprised it contains suggestive themes. I would be more surprised if it didn't. Let's not put it there. <laughs> That's what she said. All right. Nope. Yep. No, we want to actually... I don't know why it wasn't, uh... I don't know why I wasn't going in. That's also what she said. All right, quarterstaff. Often outnumbered, never outmatched. Carefully plan your moves to single-handedly save a besieged fantasy realm from the clutches of a sorceress conqueror. Let's see it. Oh, jeez. It sounded good. Like the, the, the beginning sounded. Good. All right, let's take a look. Let's. Oh, we're getting lightnings. All right. I, I, oh, yeah, mm, I, what, what is this? <laughs> Microsoft Paint Strategy Game. This, is, is it even Microsoft Paint? It's, it's, you know what it is? It's like they took clip art from games made in the 90s for, uh, <laughs> I don't know, for Windows 98. They're like, let's, let's make a new game out of this. This, w this wouldn't even have been passed as a, a good-looking game in, in the 90s. Jeez. Uh. I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. All right. This has got to be like a school project. This has got to be a school project. That's the only thing that, uh, that makes... That's the only thing that makes sense anymore. All right. Grim Knight. Explore dungeons. Uh, don't worry, there's more. There's more. Explore dungeons, collect, collect powerful relics, defeat monsters. Hordes of unique monsters with special abilities are guarding the dungeons from, from you. Use and combine a ton of different relics and weapons to get stronger and cut through them and their bosses. At least looks better than the last one. Amazing commentary. Oh, it's self shaded. Like, no, we just couldn't, we, we tried it and we couldn't take it off in the game. Okay, okay. Looks like another project game. Final project. <laughs> this has got to be it, right? Like, if we, if we go to, like, I'm not going to actually do this because I'm way too lazy, but if we actually go to some of these schools that teach, like, game design or teach, like, programming for game design or different things like that, like, how much you want to bet these are going to be, like, the we look at the final projects and then we're like, okay, let's, let's search for it on Steam and let's see if they ever made it to the, I bet, like, 75% of them made it to the App Store. Because they're like, why not? Or maybe it's part of the curriculum. They're like, okay, now you have to submit it to the App Store. As part of the, as part of the program. Combine and conquer. But it's not a combine and conquer, it's a combine. Combine and conquer is a relaxing multi-planetary 2D factory automation game. Mine resources, craft new items and structures via recipes and generate your own custom building blocks. Expand your factory to span across multiple planets. Wow. S looks very... Mm. And it looks, there's things on the screen, and that's what the game is. Okay, let's take a look. Yeah, that's a stuff on the screen. More stuff on the screen. I suppose it's a game. It, it, does it look like a game? Questionable. Um, but there's definitely stuff on the screen. We, we can all see the stuff. 
So congratulations on creating that, this thing. Wonderful, question mark. All right, let's, <laughs> let's go on to the next one. Developed by Amazon. Uh, no. I mean, Amazon does develop games, but they're not, they're not that. So. The sl Horror Knight, The Slender Man Takings. This content requires the base game Horror Knight in order to play. Is Horror Knight a good game? I don't know. Uh, mixed opinions, according to Steam. And it doesn't want to load. I don't know why. But that doesn't matter because it's not coming out. Uh, it's already come out. It's already out. So, Horror Knight Slender Man takings. Let's see how amazing this possibly could be. Oh, there's, it's, a, it's definitely a knight. So, hold on. We got lightning. In Summoner's War, though. Okay. Could be. Oh, could be scary. There's some stuff. And there's the Slender Man. I wonder if I'm going to get, like, uh, flagged on YouTube for saying that. They might flag that. Because people will complain about that. So, whole video is probably going to get flagged. Whatever. <laughs> Epic. Oh, God. What? <sighs> the Epic Fish Head Adventure. I don't, can we, can we, please stop making games. Please. Please stop making games. Unless it's, unless it's good, please don't make games. Please stop making games. These people need to stop making games. What are they, they make games and like three people play them. They're like, the three people to play is like, yeah, this was, this was bad. And then, I don't know. <sighs> too many people making too many mediocre games. And I, I guarantee, I wouldn't want to be like the hiring manager for like Blizzard. Cause then you just you see so many there's this just bad game projects and people are like I I'm passionate about making video games I've wanted to make video like ten thousand applications of like I'm passionate about making video games I want to make video games because I like video games ten thousand application but just the epic fish head adventure and and RPG <laughs> maker projects oh god that see that is actual hell is working for Blizzard in uh in the hiring department actual hell. All right, let's see this this thing, which is a thing. It's not maybe the worst uh, game we've ever seen. It's just a very forgettable game. I so there's a lot of forgettable games, especially if you're me. I forget every single game. Five seconds after I talk about it, I forget it. Why is the character so? I don't think the character's supposed to be dark. I think they I think they messed it up. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. At at a certain point, there's gonna be this this crossover of like one of the games that I crap on is gonna be made by someone that's watching. It's only a matter of time. There's so many games. There's so many games. So many people. People that play. Uh, people. People that play games. People that make games. Right? It's only a matter of time before I crap on one of you guys' games. Crap on one of your final projects. You uploaded it to Steam. What do you think was going to happen? As soon as you upload it to Steam, there's going to be criticism, regardless of anything else. Welcome to, welcome to, welcome to my world, actually. As soon as I upload any video ever, criticism instantly. I mean, some of the videos deserve criticism, don't get me wrong. Not that summon videos are any kind of majestic content. Uh, okay, so next one, Margo. Margo just woke up from a nap. She doesn't need a video game made about her then. Will you help her get back on track? Me, I don't, what, how does she need to be back on track? What, what is going on with Margo's life that she needs to get back on track after a nap? Also, I don't even understand what this is. Okay, let's take a look at this nonsense, shall we? I gotta go, better grab my stuff first. Okay, she woke up from a nap. Apparently her eyes are glued shut. Or that's supposed to be her eyes. It looks like an artistic rendering of her eyes. If her eyes are glued shut, then the rest of her apartment makes a lot of sense. Why does she have her laptop on the floor? That's another thing that I have a problem with. Why do you have your laptop on the floor? <sighs> 
Here's a piece of technology that is fragile, and also I spent a thousand dollars on it. Let me put it on the floor, where my dog is sleeping right next to it. I hope my dog doesn't pee on it. Even the dog does, like, dog's probably not gonna pee on the laptop, but still. Why you leave it on the floor? Like, there's just so many reasons. Who if you, like, stumble? What if you, like, her eyes are glued shut. Right? Oh, we're still summoning. <laughs> should probably, should probably show that at some point. It's just nothing. We're summoning nothing. I mean, her eyes are glued shut. I wouldn't put the laptop on the floor if her eyes are glued shut. Is it the, just like the craziest? Whatever. Oh, this, these games. All right. Let's. We'll see more of Margot in just a second. Actually, maybe we don't need to see more of Margot. <laughs> we're done with these. Oh god. It's almost over. <laughs> All right, so we got one. I see. I don't even know if they're gonna have wanted that or not, or like it or not. What, let's see. They're just a little bit more. But oh, everyone's eyes are glued shut. Oh, she's trying to. What is that? Gum? Or she's trying to do gum, and she's trying to. Oh, oh there's a. It's, there's a severed hand opening the fridge. That makes sense. What is with her floor? First off. She got, she got a mini skateboard on the floor. That, why, why you have that skateboard? Oh, jeez. Get a new apartment. Your apartment's... There's so much wrong with that. How does she read books? Why is she, why is she an astronaut? There's so many questions. Why is the dog an astronaut, too? I have to get this game. Why is she... Oh, my goodness. What is this? There's a giraffe in a wheelchair that likes to play cards? I don't know what this is. She likes... Oh, oh, that's Greta. That's not the, the other one. Everyone's eyes are glued shut. And they have glasses. What do the glasses do if your, eye, your eyes are full of glue? What are the glasses going to do? I wasn't supposed to rhyme. No, we don't need to see this. My eyeballs are glued shut. But I need to make glasses because I don't have very good vision. <laughs> Maybe you don't have very good vision because your eyes are glued shut. I'm just saying. Also, if your eyes are glued shut, how should how could you be doing art and well, I guess you could do audio. The art, writing, and programming. I guess you type with the keyboard. You don't really need to see programming and design, but you're not there. Okay. Okay. I know there's gonna be people commenting. They're like, <laughs> like they're not glued shut. That's just their, that's just the artistic vision of what their eyes look like. Glued shut. Facts. Let's uh, jiggle some skogles. Let's see if this works. As if this matters. Shh, we'll pretend it matters. LD5, here we go. Hoping to get. Oh wait, we were, we're still looking for. What are they missing from LDs? They're missing something. Dark Mystic Witch, right? Hopefully we get that. Watch, we don't even get that. Okay, we're gonna need to jiggle something else because that didn't work. That did not work. All right, let's do. Let's uh, zap these. Let's we'll zap these. Let's we'll zap these. Let's go. By monster. Uh, they're they're uh, they're maxed on whatever. <laughs> they're maxed on whatever. Can't find Megan's. She's got to be somewhere, right? Oh, there's not two of them. All right, let's jiggle. Let's jiggle these. Uh, these things then. Ah, never mind. I changed my mind. It's just jiggle nothing. It's not it's not working. It's kinda of funny. I don't know why I kicked us out. Damn champion. Elven Ranger. Oh, they're not even giving them anything. Jeez, please something new. The best LD fives in the entire game. All right. Well, that is that. Okay. 
Yeah. The returning player luck, man. The returning player luck. Watch a second one. Watch a second one. Okay, not a second one. Wow. Returning player RNG. Because they got those returning player bonuses too. Second LD5. Oh, not a second LD5. Jeez. Or maybe we start jiggling some of those uh, living armors. That's kind of fun. Stupid games. Anything else coming out that we need to actually look at? Wizard! Oh god, no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. No, 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 no. We don't look we look at too much already. Nana, Carnal, Hathor, Ganymede, Savannah. I mean that 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 light uh, light monkey basically just a better version of Hathor. So I would say that they're probably in a pretty good spot if that's the things that they're looking for. If we can manage a Shungpung, I I think they would be set. And then a Nana. There we go. Speak of the devil. That's actually some pretty good turn two uh, bruiser units for RTA. Or uh, turn two uh, response units. A lot of passive units are good. Well, maybe not a lot of passive units, but a lot of good turn two units happen to be passive units. Things that are passives. All right. more jokers. I think the Douglas is going to be really nice for them if they ever decide to get into RTA. Yeah, Douglas is kind of a cheat code. <laughs> Douglas is like, ah, I don't know what to pick. Uh, my opponent's using a control team. Let me use a Douglas. Light monkey, though. Light monkey is just... Yeah. Oh, if I didn't mention... Because well, I know some people like that I mentioned what specifically we got, but... Uh, yeah, Kitian Dasheng. Which one is this? Light Archer. All right, it's a low chance that we get anything crazy uh, LDs from these, but I mean, I'm sure that's possibly new. Ooh, this is another. Okay, so we are getting some good LDs from these. Not bad. Not bad at all. Best mermaid, of course. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> okay, maybe not the best mermaid, but my favorite. My favorite mermaid. Last one. Last legendary attribute. All right. We did get a couple LDs from that, though. Not bad. Do we have? We don't have anything to feed for blessing, right? Do we even have? Maybe we should check these more. Oh, they don't even have they don't even have these crystals. All right. Let's see. Something good, please. RNG, please. I think this is new too. That's not bad. That's really not bad. I mean, no one's really saying it's it, it, it was bad, but yeah, that's a solid. Those two actually work together. So um, let's actually not lock these because I'm just gonna stick them as wow. The this is like first few picks, like pick one, pick two. Light Monkey's got a bunch of stuff that can counter him, but still, it's not like you could just you could just play like that. If they wanted to, let's stick this in storage, and we will call it a day because we don't have any more summons, right? Watch, they were like, oh, please don't do my LDs. <laughs> yeah, there we go. That's it. All right, guys. Anyway, that's it for this one. There's a bunch of Steam indie They're all indie school projects, I'm sure. I'm sure they're, I will watch them in the next video, and then they'll all be terrible, and then we'll all cry together. Anyway, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys get some good summons this week. I'll see you as always in the next one.